the 2000s were full of iconic movies, featuring bold and nostalgic fashion. In this video, I'll be sharing some of my favorite and some of the most memorable 2000s movies that had iconic and memorable fashion moments. First, we have The Devil Wears Prada. This 2006 dramedy is based on Andy, who is an eager college graduate, played by Anne Hathaway. She's extremely excited to get a new job as the new assistant to the powerful fashion magazine editor, Miranda, played by Meryl Streep. The movie is based in the fashion world and it's full of chic looks that were often seen on the streets of New York City in the early 2000s. Think of knee-high leather boots, stacking patterns, chunky necklaces, layers, statement belts, and tweed caps. The Devil Wears Prada blends both elegant streetwear with high fashion, as well as office-ready styles, inspiring fashionistas everywhere. Next, we have Bring It On. This 2000 movie is all about a high school cheerleading team preparing for a national competition, starring Kristen Dunst and Gabrielle Union. A lot of the fashion in Bring It On is very athleisure focused. It's also very popular right now. If you take one look on the streets, you're guaranteed to see biker shorts, sports bras as tops, crop tops, and monochromatic athleisure fits. Bring It On also features iconic high ponytails, frosted eyeshadow, cropped cardigans, and bandanas, all of which still look great today. 2004's 13 Going On 30 is a fun, feel-good movie. It's all about a 13-year-old girl in 1986. After being humiliated on her 13th birthday, she makes a wish that she was 30 years old. However, when she wakes up, her wish comes true, and she's 30 years old in 2003 with no idea how she got there. The movie is cute, funny, and overall a blast to watch. And Jennifer Gardner's performance is amazing. However, one of the best parts of 13 going on 30 is the fashion. Everyone knows the signature colorful striped Versace baby doll dress that Gardner wears in the memorable dance scene, complete with spiky buns, a butterfly necklace, and strappy heels. The dress alone makes the film instantly identifiable. The movie also features tons of baguette bags, which are very trendy today. Legally Blonde's Elle Woods, played by Reese Witherspoon, has been a fashion icon since the movie premiered in 2001. She plays a sorority girl turned lawyer, and she is constantly serving looks. The outfits in Legally Blonde scream 2000s and feel larger than life. From her pink two-piece bikini and matching sunglasses, her sparkly bikini top and fluffy pink coat, to her various pink halter tops and the infamous pink collared dress with the sparkly sash she wears during her court scene. Simply put, Elle Woods made pink cool. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen is another hit teen movie from the early 2000s. Premiering in 2004, it stars Lindsay Lohan, who plays Lola, an aspiring actress 
whose plans hit a roadblock when her family moves from New York City to New Jersey. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen manages to blend all the best elements of 2000s fashion seen in other hit movies into one feature. One of the most iconic looks is Lola's fishnet top over her I Heart New York t-shirt, complete with low-rise jeans and a bottle cap necklace. The movie also showcases patchwork jackets, the 2000s signature bigger boy cap, monogrammed bags, hoop earrings, trucker hats, and signature designer items from big names such as Tiffany and Dior. 2003's The Lizzie McGuire Movie is a masterclass in fashion and it can still be referenced for style inspiration today. The movie stars Hilary Duff as Lizzie McGuire as she takes her high school graduation trip to Rome. The movie also serves as the finale to the Disney Channel series of the same name. Much of Lizzie McGuire's outfits were often quirky, mismatched, and out of the ordinary. However, they were worn in such a way that was still refined and inspired many people. The Lizzie McGuire movie is a fashion plate. There are almost too many standout looks to mention. From her ruffled button downs to her butterfly clips and bigger boy caps to the iconic ensemble worn in the What Dreams Are Made Of performance. It's high fashion all around. The 2006 movie Mary Antoinette brings the most infamous fashion it girl in history to the silver spoon. It features pre-revolution France fashion with bubblegum pop of the 2000s. Costume designer Melina Canareno had the almost impossible task of dressing the Queen of France, played by Kristen Dunst, and it helped her win her third Oscar for costume design. The movie incorporates styles and silhouettes found in 1700s France, as well as the contemporary style of the 2000s, featuring heavy use of hot pink, a popular color found in most of the clothing, especially. And lastly, we have Mean Girls. Would 2000s fashion be anywhere without Mean Girls? Arguably the most iconic high school clique of all time, the pink clad fashionistas are known as the Plastics, led by Regina George, played by Rachel McAdams, and Katie Heron, played by Lindsay Lohan. All of the girls were true essentials that were needed in any 2000s wardrobe. The costume designer, Mary Jane Fort, used Paris Hilton as the main inspiration for the character's clothing which included graphic tees, mini skirts, and argyle sweaters. She did this to add a sense of realism and she used the fashion and trends that high school girls were actually wearing during the time. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing and interesting fashion content.